Hi, and welcome to the second demonstration video of the AI Balancer within the Moose framework. In this demonstration, we are going to show you how you can use the AI Balancer to actually tailor the behavior of the AI Balancer and extend it. In this demo, we are going to extend the, the AI Balancer and make the AI that is being dynamically spawned within your mission patrol a zone. For this, the same mission has been set up as demonstrated uh, in the previous video, but now I've added a zone, which is a polygon zone, and for that I refer to the zone video tutorials and documentation within the Moose framework. So I've set up a zone called Patrol Zone that is being defined by the path of that group right and what will happen is when an ai will spawn dynamically through the ai balancer then that ai will fly towards that zone and starts patrolling within that zone here's the script uh, and you can find the script in test missions ai balancing aib002 patrol ai patrol ai is basically being serviced by another Moose AI class that is called AI Patrol Zone, which is written here. This AI Patrol Zone contains a couple of parameters that I'm not going into details at the moment, but I will create an explanation video of that class at a later point in time. But for the moment our focus is, how can we tailor the AI balancer by looking into the AI balancer process and for this I'm going very quickly to that process as I said the AI balancer is a finite state machine which runs a flow so I would like to capture if the AI balancer gets into the state spawned that at that point in time I can catch that state transition and I can develop my own logic and using an event handler uh, that I'm writing here in this line here I can do that very easily so I'm going to explain the script in a bit more details you remember from the first videos these three lines where I've created the A balancer basic functionality AI is being spawned dynamically when players uh, leave or when there are not when there aren't any players within the uh, <coughs> within the mission or when a player joins then the AI is dynamically destroyed now when a new plane is being spawned dynamically an AI I mean then because we created this object here of class AI balancer and this variable here will actually contain all the methods of AI balancer and all the capabilities of AI balancer we can then use that same object name here and define a function what we call an event handler a function with a specific syntax which we name on after spawned with a defined set of parameters that are being explained within finite state machine documentation because this is a, a set finite state machine it will give you a set as a first parameter the from state the event name the to state and the AI group that was uh, spawned automatically and this is the most important variable of all instantiating a patrol zone is for another video but basically what I'm doing is I am taking the provided AI group and I'm attaching that AI group to the AI patrol zone that I've established so that it starts so that that AI starts patrolling within the patrol zone and not starts following the path as outlined within the mission editor so I'm going to demonstrate this uh, right now. Just remember 
that in your event handler that you've written here you can develop any code that you want to actually modify the behavior or extend it of the AI balancer. So here we are in our demo mission running. I am not going to do anything. I'm just going to spectate us. And let's watch what happens with, within the mission. I'm going to speed it up a bit. So slowly those AI will spawn in. And we'll take off from the airbase. All right. And now you see they are flying towards that patrol zone that was given here. The patrol zone is also a finite state machine, basically a process, which will make which makes the AI fly around within that patrol zone at random speeds, random heights, and really simulates you know humans patrolling a certain area. Now for this purpose, for this test machine, I've just created here a a square but since it's a polygon zone you can actually build something like this like like a path even right over a larger area like a mountain range or 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 a flat area right so this really patrol zone is really a very powerful class that will be explained later so now you see this uh, these planes being patrolled patrolling those areas. What I'm now going to do, I'm going to join as a human in the mission. There you are. And you see immediately that one plane left the mission, the, that one AI. And here I am with my plane. Now if I'm going to join, now let's go back to spectators. So I have gone from the mission and a new AI is being spawned. Okay, what is that AI doing? Guess what? Getting back and patrolling that area. So it is, um, this is really important. I'm going to show you that once the AI is being spawned, this spawned state is being set within the AI balancer and the on after spawned will be called automatically by AI balancer with those parameters. And you can then do whatever you want. Um, and this is a really powerful concept of of the whole Moose framework, and you'll see it being used extensively within the near future. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration session, and see you next time. Bye-bye.